Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and this video is brought to you by WP Modula. They reached out and they asked if I could do a sponsored video of how to use the plugin. So here we are, WP Modula is a photo gallery plugin, photo and video gallery. I actually did not know too much about this before I dove in. And let me tell you, I really like what I see here. So let's move into my WordPress dashboard. You could see I have Modula installed. Now this is a free plugin with some paid upgrades. Uh, it's a very user-friendly WordPress gallery plugin. And they tout speed and ease of use. And what I was going to do here was show you how to make a replacement for Flickr. Um, I, I lived, I left Flickr, uh, some time ago because they were, uh, changing things and they were removing a free, uh, account. And while I'm happy to pay for things that are worth paying for, I didn't use Flickr as often as, uh, I would feel is warranted paying for. So that's what I was going to do. But then I looked at some of the many add-ons available for WP Modula. And there is uh, albums, there is download, there is pro, which is the pro version. There's protection, there's speed up, and there's watermark. And so looking at these, I thought this would be perfect for people who want to sell their photography. Maybe they are a professional photographer who does weddings or other events. Maybe they sell their photographs as artwork and uh, they want to have a portfolio. And I thought WP Modula seems perfect for that. So I have all of these installed and activated. If we go over to the Modula area, you can see that first we've got two tabs. We have galleries and extensions and we can install and activate other professional extensions if we have uh, our license key enabled. You can even password protect galleries. This is perfect if you are doing events uh, or you, you want to have exclusive client galleries. And then there's right-click protection. I installed that one, which is super cool. Uh, so uh, the last one I want to point out is video. You can add video galleries. Uh, self-hosted or from YouTube and Vimeo, which I also think is very cool. So let's get started. How do we use this plugin? Well, first I'm going to add new. I'm going to click add new. We'll call this, let's call it scenery. Scenery. Uh, and then we can drag and drop images or we can select from the library. So I have pre-uploaded some images here. I'm going to pick a bunch of them to add to the gallery. Okay, so now they are added. I can bulk edit if I want, which means I can select and add filters too. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the filter section is. I haven't dove deep into that yet, but we have our images here. We can sort the gallery manually by date created, modified, title alphabetically or random. I'll just do manual here and then people can choose to view as they'd like. So we can choose from different gallery types, creative, custom, or columns. Let's do creative. Let's see what that looks like. We can modify the gutter. That is the uh, space between each image. We can change the width. And this is the width of the gallery, not the width of each image. We can change the thumbnail size. We can shuffle the images. And then we can look at the rest of the settings. So one is we can choose to open images in a light box. I think this is great. I love seeing this included uh, because I think that's the best way to open images, to be honest. We can choose navigation arrows. We can choose to loop the navigation and a bunch of other settings here. One of the great things as we scroll through this long list of settings is that WP Modula has one of, if not the most flexible light box customization features I've ever seen. So uh, this is great. We'll keep most of these at the default. All right, here are those elusive filters that I was talking about. So um, if uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but luckily there is some good documentation over at the Modula docs. If I type in filters, how to use filters in Modula. 
uh, depending on the number of filters, uh, might make sense for you to allow visitors to sort them. So these are actually sorting filters and not necessarily uh, like photo filters, right? So that's really cool. Uh, we can add captions to the gallery. We can enable social icons, which is cool. Uh, so if we want people to be able to share them in various places and we can change the color, that's super neat. I like yellow. Uh, <laughs> we can change the loading effect and we can change the hover effect. So that's really cool too. Magnifying glass uh, for the uh, cursor maybe or a crosshair and then we can have different hover effects, which is really cool. This is, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, this is a, almost like a first impression video too. Uh, I took a cursory look just to get the lay of the land, but I'm really impressed by what I'm seeing here. So uh, let's add a few more images. And for this, I'll upload more images. Okay. So now we'll upload those images and they will autom and they'll get added to this gallery, I should say. Okay, so we have our images added. We'll click Save Gallery here. And then we need to add it somewhere, right? So Modula provides us with short codes where we can drop the gallery inside of a poster page. I'm going to copy this short code. But I'm also going to see something here. So if I go to pages, I'll just create a new page. I'm using the block editor. That's what I want to see. Scenery gallery. If... Uh, Modula, yeah, so Modula also allows for you to embed a gallery block, and then we can really see what that looks like. Uh, so this looks good. We can do wide or full width. I'll do wide width. And then we'll save this, publish it, and let's see what it looks like on the front end. I am using Astra because I think it provides us the most flexibility. Now we could see here, we have our effects, but my naming is not very good. Uh, and this light box, this light box looks really good. So it looks like arrow keys are disabled. I'm sure I can turn that on. Click the X. So this looks good. This looks good, uh, but let's see what optimizations we can make to it now that we know what it looks like. So we'll go to, to galleries. First thing I'm going to do, right, is... Uh, I'm going to go to settings, right? Because we have the watermark and the speed up add-ons, but we don't have uh, those things enabled. So we can enable gallery links. This uh, option allows you to create galleries through the post type URL. That's cool. We So we didn't need to do that if we enabled gallery links, but we'll just leave that unchecked for now. Uh, let's turn on compression. That will make... Our images load a little bit faster. Now, this is a local site, so we probably won't see too much improvement there. Uh, and then we have the watermark settings. So this is cool. We can upload a watermark or choose one from something we previously uploaded. I'll upload my logo. All right, so we'll use this image. I want it in the bottom right. I want some margin. Okay, so we'll save that. And now let's go back to scenery here. There are a couple of things that I want to do. General settings. First, we picked a creative gallery. We can do a custom grid if we want. Uh, so we can rearrange and, and uh, show how the custom grid looks. So that's pretty cool. Maybe you can see the helper grid. If I do that, we could see exactly what space the grid is taking up. So we can do a custom grid. I think that's super cool. We can also just do straight up columns. Uh, we can also do the slider if we get the slider add on, but I'll keep this at creative grid. And then with Lightbox, we want to we want to add keyboard navigation here so that we can use the arrow keys. Uh, and then we'll have we can have the close button. We can have a download button or a zoom button. So let's do both of those just to see what they look like close on slide click close on slide double click info bar we can have transitions we can show all images at the bottom here so let's see if we do you know if we do slide for the transition 
Okay. So we've got that. Filters, captions, show gallery title. We don't want to do that. Hide title. This will hide image titles from the gallery. So let's do that because, again, our, our image titles are not. I didn't name these. You could if you'd like, but we can completely hide those things if we want as well. Uh, we have our hover effects, right, which we already looked at. Our speed up effects. We can choose lazy loading. If you have a really big gallery, I think you should have lazy loading. This will load images as they're needed and not immediately. We can allow uh, users to download images. And then uh, we have custom CSS if we want to. It also says watermark is not installed, but it is. And we can enable it here. Uh, and then we can also use custom settings if we want, or we can just use the default settings. So I'm going to click update here. I'm going to go back to our page. And there we go. So there's our lazy loading in effect here. It started to work as we scrolled. The creative grid looks, we can see the, the effects a little bit better here. Uh, it looks very uh, masonry, like I really like that. Uh, and of course, we don't have the big distracting titles. We have the... Uh, the social share icons, if I click an image, the watermark's not showing up, which I think is interesting. But keyboard navigation is working. And we can zoom. And we can download the image. So before we go, let's double check to see why the watermark is not working. The watermark is enabled. Uh, if we go to Modula Settings again, watermark settings so it should be in use here right because i do have an image i have it placed save those settings again and then if i go back to the gallery there might be some sort of conflict here watermark inserted images maybe i just need to click this button apply watermark to existing images in the module gallery uh, so because I didn't do the watermark first, I need to tell Modula to add the watermark to the images. It says watermark has been applied. I'll click update gallery. We can see the watermark here now. We could see the thumbnails. Let's refresh just to make sure we have the latest, latest. We could see the watermark here. This is not the best watermark, obviously, uh, but we could see it applied. So if I were you, I'd do something a lot smaller and maybe like white or translucent like a PNG. Uh, now the question, the last question I have here is, does it actually modify the media? And it does. So also keep that in mind. It looks like uh, Modula adds the watermark to the image in a permanent manner. Uh, so keep that in mind. But all in all, I really think that this is a great gallery plugin. It's really easy to use. It's feature packed. It's uh, fast. It's got lots of customizations. So I would recommend checking it out, right? Uh, Starter gets you one site with uh, a few of the, the light box, the video, the gallery filters. And then when you're ready to take it up to uh, maybe a, a business, when you want to start selling your photos, uh, you can add some of the features that we looked at here, like download and zoom and watermark. Um, but even without that, you know, you can do a lot of really cool stuff. So definitely check out Modula. It's a great plugin for WordPress. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.